What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back with more diecast, and today we're going to be unboxing three new 2024 Hot Wheels and Matchbox 5-packs. So, like I said before in previous videos, if you've seen them, I really enjoy the 5-packs. I like the variety of castings, the mix of licensed and fantasy, just the colors in them, the theming, they're really nice for the price. Uh, they haven't gone up in price lately they've stayed the same for the past couple months they're right around the six dollar mark give or take your location and store that you're shopping at uh, which accounts for the rise in price in each of the cars so if you you know buy five main lines they're pretty much the price of the five packs and i like the five packs because of that exclusivity you can't really get a lot of these castings anywhere else outside the five packs like this hot wheels getaway one these are all like vacation themed this is an all fantasy, fantasy casting five pack, but as castings, I really like. Time of Taxi, such a killer casting. RV there yet? One of my favorites. I think it's such a unique design. Um, so you'll get a lot of different castings, even though this one is based on, I think it's a Mercury wagon. Um, it is technically a fantasy casting, um, but it's still cool. And you'll also notice that it has the Let's Race um, graphics on all of them. That's because on March 4th, 2024, which is just, what, a couple weeks, two weeks um, from when I'm filming this, in 2024, they will be coming out with a Let's Race show, which I believe features some of these cars, or all of them, as, like, main character cars. And it's interesting because I believe we've seen every one of these released in the same paint scheme sometime in the Hot Wheels line. Um, I know, I swear I remember that white truck looking exactly like that. Same with a lot of them. I think we've got it before, um, but we'll dig into it and kind of take a look at it. So next up, we have the Matchbox Retro. This is a good five pack. It's a blend of new cars with retro paint jobs, obviously, because it's themed that way. Uh, we have the Field Car, which was released in, man, I think the 70s originally. But this version is supposed to look like the 1980 release that had a 179 on the door. So it's really cool to see them actually like continuing the number on the newer casting. Same with the Rough Rabbit 3. This is now the third time they've released something like that. So this should be a pretty good unboxing. A lot of variety, a mix of Matchbox and Hot Wheels, which is cool. You have some license, some fantasy, a lot of everything. So let's go ahead and bust these open. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these down so I don't knock them over and we'll open the getaways first. So these aren't packages. I've been really tearing these up, but I don't really keep the five pack ones because as soon as I open these, I put them in like those, what do you call them? Like plastic jammer cases. So I don't need to keep the five packs. I know people have been giving me some really good uh, tips on how to open them though. So thank you for giving me those tips, but these I'm not actually going to, I'm not going to keep the packaging anyway. So here we have the Vanster. This is a nice fantasy casting. It's like a futuristic van. Uh, I had a couple of these in the blue Hot Wheels race theme from like 2014 or 15, maybe even 16. And they did killer on the Hot Wheels track, like gravity racing. So I like this casting. This has a couple scratches on the door or on the roof there, but this has like, you can see the engine inside, all the detail. Again, I know fantasy castings are everyone's thing, but this is a really good looking car, especially with that like almost like Maui Jim type paint job, very surfer, uh, very Hawaii looking. So I don't remember. I don't think you can pop this top off, right? Oh, maybe you can't. Hang on. Let me double check. I think you can, right? All right, I'm going to try it. Okay, so I wasn't able to quite get the roof off, but I did take a little screwdriver and push in, and that tab does push in and out. So I believe this roof does come off, but I didn't want to damage it, so I didn't push it any harder. But let me know if you were able to get the roof off this or this version or any other version because it looks like it does it has these two tabs that look like they squeeze and then it has almost another little pry point right there but if you try that you're probably going to crack uh, the window or at least scratch the paint so I didn't want to scratch because it is a pretty good looking car um, at least not during the first video I want to enjoy it a little bit first before I mess it up so there is the Vanser Next up, we have the Surf Crate. This casting was released back in, what, 98, 2000, but it looks like it was retooled in, what, 2024 because this is all metal. This is a whole metal chassis. This is a metal body. So this is technically an all metal model, which is very cool because usually you don't get that in the main line whatsoever. So very cool that we're still technically getting metal on metal in a main line type setting, but this casting is good. I know it's not everyone's thing because it's super custom, but it's so sleek. It's well designed. This is a casting that has outlived 
um, kind of the era, like that looks like a skull, actually. It looks pretty hardcore. Um, the, a lot of the cars that it came out in the same era as this, it has outlived this. I think this has like a hot rod longevity that a lot of castings don't have. And the surfboard in the back is pretty cool. And I think originally you could pull the surfboard out. And I think that must have been the 2014 retool is when they made it a piece of the back. But it's a good looking casting. Look at that. Surf club. It's got the little guy. Look at that. Doing a little surf action there. I like it. It's a good color. It's that pale, like, beach color. Very islandy. All right, the RV there. Yeah, this is such a cool casting. This came out a couple years ago. What, 1920? Can't remember. It says, what, 19 on the casting? Uh, it might have been 20. I can't remember. That whole, like, era of the pandemic, all the cars mixed together because that's, like, everybody just sat at home and, like, did Hot Wheels stuff. So I really like this casting, though. The metal part is the actual RV, and then it's cast into the plastic vehicle. So this is almost a backwards-type casting where the trailer is metal and then the car is plastic. It has that fake wheel in there, but I think they designed it pretty well where it looks good. I like this casting. Ooh, I just had a catastrophe. <laughs> That's excuse that noise. I just had a stack of Hot Wheels fall over, which is fun. Um, uh, collector's props, right? Clear your, your stack of Hot Wheels, your other stack of Hot Wheels falling over during the video. But I like this casting. Like, look at the, what's that say? Oh, it's just trees. Uh, but I like the colors, the vintage stripes, the road trip. Nice casting. I know these aren't everyone's thing and people complain. Like, I wish they did put an extra wheel there, but it probably would have put the cost um, much higher than, than mainline cost. So we probably wouldn't have made it happen, but very, very cool casting. And it rolls well. I know it's dumb because the, the middle tire doesn't roll, but it's sitting there. It looks good, but Hot Wheels are for play, right? So next up we have the surf crate. This is supposed to look like, I think it's a Mercury, um, station wagon in that tuned before like tuned was a line. Um, really, really cool. Like, look at that super big engine coming out of there with the blower. It's like the uh, Fast and the Furious uh, 70 Charger. Just, it's so cartoony. It's really cool, though. This is a very well done casting. Again, I know this won't be everyone's thing because it is fantasy. But when you take it out of the package and actually look at it and appreciate how well it's done, um, just like the back door detail, the surfboard built into the windows, it does have other things on the inside. They're kind of, I think it's a guitar is in there, which is really cool right? Yeah, it does look like a guitar. That huge engine, the chrome grill. It's, I mean, it's just a really good looking casting. It, to me, it looks like a, almost like a shrunken muscle machines, but I like it. It's nice color. The blue metallic surf adventure. You got that shark going. I like that. That looks good. And not, this isn't a casting I particularly, particularly collect, but like I said, when you have it out of the package and actually take a look at it and start like appreciating some of the detail on it it starts to grow on you really like that the seal wheels look good on that too all right time of taxi this is a, such a fun casting to play with um if you're into like playing or rolling with the cars this is a super fun one to play with just because it has a lot of action to it it just looks like it's ready to go drifting uh, you can see that big exposed intercooler up front it has the uh, two air cleaners out the hood and whoop, it's got this cool opening door it's got a plastic door doesn't open very well as you can see every one of these like even the very first one the red one with the black door um it never closed and opened right so it's like kind of a moving part which is cool because it's a main line uh, but opening that too many times and it will definitely fray to where it's not gonna shut right but this looks cool beach taxi uh i think it is it fraser or fraser campbell that designed this casting or at least delivery uh because his name is on it right there I can't remember. Forgive me. I'm very bad at remembering who designed what. Uh, I have to refer to the Hot Wheels wiki all the time because there's so many castings and variations. It's hard to remember, but that looks cool. I like that. It definitely looks fast. It's odd to me that the top of the window there is just yellow. Oh, that's actually, I thought that was part of the window. Has that always been that way? Maybe it has. I don't know. I don't remember it being um, metal right there. But I was like, man, that's kind of plain. But then it's it's actually part of the it's part of the casting rather than the window. Interesting. I'm gonna have to go back and look at my, some of my old ones. Um, it's good. It's a good release. So those all fit together pretty well. 
Uh, all right, let's do the Matchbox Retro next. So, like I said, this is a pretty good five-pack mix with... Um, this one actually has a lot of licensed vehicles. This is more than 50% licensed, which is cool. Um, this one obviously didn't have any licensed casting. And the next one doesn't have any licensed casting. So this is where the licensed castings are. So let me go ahead and make sure I uh, call these the right thing. So this one is the Austin minivan. It's this cool, good googly cones. It's the googly eyes. Like, look at the face. That's like the meme face. Like the, is it the sun in SpongeBob? Is that what I'm thinking of? I swear it is. Maybe it's a different cartoon I'm thinking of. Maybe it's Rick and Morty. I can't remember. Now I'm getting my cartoons mixed up. Like there is totally a, a different one. Like this one has a mouth on it. Because that's like, I think that's like the gas tank. The gas filler. But that's really cool because it made it look like a mouth. Where that one has the eyeballs. Step, what's that say? Step right up to experience. Ask about our die cast specials. Cone shakes cold treats. Got a little cut through it. That one's a little better, but this is an interesting casting because last year we got this one, which matches it. So um, this is the Ice Cream King, and it has the exact same paint job, a little bit different color as you can see there. This one to me is more bubblegum yellow, uh, which is probably a difference in this being a metal casting where this one is plastic with the metal chassis. So I'm sure there's a little bit of color variation, but now we have something that matches. But I don't remember, this says retro, but I don't remember us getting a paint job like this in another line. So to me, I, last year or a year ago, like that's not very retro. Um, so I, I don't know if I'm missing that in the past, but I like it. I think it looks awesome. That side with the, uh, like the mouth is hilarious. So that's a good one. It's a really nice paint job too. Cause it's like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually like metallic, but if there's like white in it, it's probably not picking up very, very nicely on camera, but it's a cool release. Boom. Next up the 90 Volkswagen Golf Country. So this is the third, as you can see, Rough Rabbit. The second one was last year in the 70th Volkswagen set that was at Walmart. I think it was only a Walmart exclusive. The very first one I think was released in the 80s and it was actually like a four by four, like an almost like a monster truck, like it looked like this um, with a similar casting on top of it. So that was the first one. Second one was last year, the year before, and then now we get the third one. Very cool casting. I like this casting. Um, this was also one of the was it the Sapphire cars back a few years ago when Matchbox did their 65th anniversary, I believe, and did like the turquoise color cars um, or Sapphire, I guess is the color, obviously. But um, this is a good casting. I like the wheels. It almost looks like retro wheels to me. Um, they almost look like the Dukes of Hazard 10 spoke vector wheels, but like have a little bit of um, almost like beadlock to them. And the color, the color is not bad. So if you were with me the other day when I did the unboxing video of the Hot Wheel or the Matchbox premiums that cost $6 a casting, the Mitsubishi had much worse, much, much worse wheel paint than this. So that is not bad, especially because this is a dollar. And that was four times the price. So this is looking pretty good in my book. We don't really have any back or front tampos because it all goes on the main line. Um, get these nice, excellent, the little rabbit, which was the graphic on the original. Got the cool retro country looking graphics. Nice release. This is probably the the winner, like the probably the one that's going to be bought. Like you buy this five pack for this and then sell the rest. But the field car is pretty cool too. So this one has tampos front, side, kind of roof i don't know i guess that's technically a side um this casting the original version came out i believe in the 70s and the one that this is recreating was one that was released in 1980 i believe it had the number 179 on the door and it had like the four or five spoke like speed wheels on it um the ones that i've seen at least but this is a cool casting i like that they basically made an updated version and they're making it look like the old version so you can kind of save your money if you don't need to buy the original uh because this one looks really cool but then you also kind of want to buy the original put it side by side so you can have like the whole collection of them especially because they're sequence numbers uh, but this is a cool casting it's fun to play with and a lot of these this i have the tow hitch no which one did that yeah this one has the tow hitch so they're starting to do that on more vehicles matchbox used to do that on everything from trucks to ferraris everything used to have a hitch which is cool because they were meant to be like actually played with so 
it's cool to see them going back kind of the, to their roots there. Oh my gosh, is there a bug in here? There's a ladybug in here. What is going on? This is such a wild video. <laughs> I'm, I'm spilling Hot Wheels. Uh, there's ladybugs flying around. It's going crazy. So next up, we have the 76 Honda Civic Ooh, or CVCC. Is that short for Civic? I think it is, right? Honda Blue Mon. Blue Mon. That's kind of funny. This is a good casting. It's been released a few times. Um, this is a newer casting. I don't know if Matchbox has anything retro to compare this to. Uh, I don't remember them having any type of older Honda casting like this. I may be wrong. I might have to Google it um, while I'm editing this video and see, but I don't think there is. But this is a really nice casting. And look how clean that Tampo is on the license plate. I mean, even the Honda. Compare that to some of the other castings we've unboxed recently, especially premiums. That looks so killer. And I like that it's just a normal car. It just it looks stock. It doesn't have any race tampos on it. It doesn't have any sponsor graphics. It's just a nice stock looking car. These look excellent. To me, this makes a good like background car for your diorama, whether you're doing like recreating chips or Dukes of Hazard or anything like that uh, from the 70s or 80s. It's cool to have just like stock cars like this for the background. So very nice inclusion there. And then lastly, we have the Volkswagen Beetle 4x4. Um, this is a fun casting. I wouldn't consider it one of my favorites, but it is a fun casting. I like the way that they've made it look retro. Like it has those like 80s or 90s graphics on it, depending on, uh, I would say probably late 80s, right? Um, I tried to research this before the video and I did not see another retro one with this same style paint job. So I think they're just using the retro styled casting and then a, a style of the paint job that would have been used. I don't have anything just like the, um, the Honda. I don't think there's anything exactly to compare with it, but it's really cool looking like to me, this looks almost exactly like some of the California custom paint jobs, uh, that Hot Wheels had back in the day, but and I know this is a matchbox, but so it's a fun casting, not my favorite, but it's a cool release of it. All right, so let's get to the let's race. So I think all of these have been released before, so we don't have to spend a ton of time on them. Um, but let me know in the comments, especially as you're watching this live, obviously I've seen it and I can look them up. Um, but let me know if these, if you have any of these, I think these are all uh, repeats. I think they were like Team Hot Wheels or something a few years ago because I think this truck, I can't remember the name of this truck right offhand. The Too Tough? Ooh, looking a little rough on that side. I don't know that tempo. Looks a little skittish right there. That side looks much better. I was like, oh, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> it's like I gotta finish the paint job. I gotta go home. I like the casting though, but I think these all have been released before. So here is the Too Tough truck, the red, white, and blue. It's a nice casting. This is like a fantasy casting. But to me, if you told me this was like a Rivian or another like electric EV truck that I kind of wasn't familiar with, I would believe you. But from the front, I get heavy, like, I don't know, almost like Miata vibes, GT Mustang, like Shelby Mustang. I don't know. What do you think it looks like? It definitely looks like something like there's some there's a vehicle that heavily influenced it but i'm not exactly sure what let me know in the comments what you think that one looks like but this is a cool casting uh i like the wheels on it it looks it's like a fun one to play with so it'll be cool to see how they incorporate that into the show or if they're just giving us um cars that are fantasy castings to that like go in the show so here is a little graphic as you can see that's like the show itself there's some characters in the cars so we'll know they'll probably be using those. And we are going to get a version of this um, in the main line, I believe. I think I've seen some teasers of that. And I think that's the twin mill right there, right? Yep, it is. So hopefully these will actually be in the show. And then that's the, what, GT Scorcher? That looks like it might be a treasure hunt. So if they're staying true to the art, we might get a treasure hunt of that. So twin mill, classic casting. This has been in the main line for what? 1969. That has to be the absolute oldest mainline at this point i know the custom camaro uh is in there but i think they've changed it a little it probably has it but i don't know if it actually says 1969 on the bottom of it anymore so that's cool to have that date on this car because it really brings the heritage um to this and this has the almost those are like are those the actual faster than ever wheels they kind of look like ftes i don't know the the fte models had like zinc axles or whatever they were so i doubt is an actual fte model 
Um, but I like the paint job. Paint job is cool. It's kind of got like blue ghost pinstripe flames to it. That black line going down the center of that stripe. It looks super fast. This is a cool casting. Um, I know fancy castings aren't everyone's thing, as I've said before, but this one, you got to appreciate the heritage of this one. It looks great with those five spoke wheels too. This will be a fun one on the track. Is this full metal? I think this is full metal. This is a full metal casting. How cool is that? Didn't even pay attention to that. I, my, I don't think it's always been full metal, has it? I think we've gotten it in the main line where it's not. Yeah, I don't think it's always been full metal, but this, this sucker's kind of heavy. It's full metal. That is super rad. Heck yeah. Go out and buy this five pack. Get you a metal on metal twin mill. Very cool. Okay, next up, the Rip Rod. This is an awesome casting. They've had this on several like Hot Wheels video games. Um, this came out, when did it come out? It came out a while ago, 2013. Rip Rod has got that old school, like the the classic like track logo etched into the bottom there. There's a lot going on on the bottom right there actually. But it looks cool. I think the Hot Wheels graphics look good on everything. Metal chassis, obviously plastic body, but there is still a lot of detail. Um, it's got the FTE style wheels. Cool casting. These are probably okay on track. Um, which I assume is their goal because they, it looks like they're racing on track. Um, really good casting. It, it like photographs well, just the colors and the angles, really nice casting. So next up, I think this is rocket fire, right? Yeah. Rocket fire. So this is a plastic body. There is a lot going on on this one. Um, it's got that huge rocket out back. This one is not a favorite of mine. This um, I don't know when this came out. I'm trying to think 2007. I don't know if this is a, um, Acceleracer's car or not. I don't think it is, but you guys let me know in the comments because I'm not as familiar as that line as I probably should be. Um, but there's a, a lot going on in this one. A lot of graphics. I'm not a very big fan of the, the full on Chrome cars. I don't really like the way they look. Uh, this casting is not bad. There, It has a lot of cool detail. I'm just not a huge fan of just it really in general. But again, if you're into racing, it's got the loop on the bottom. Um, if you're into racing Hot Wheels, this might not be a bad one to pick up. It seems It has a lot of metal on it, and it seems pretty heavy. So I wouldn't be surprised if any of these don't do bad on the, the downhill track. So this one, I really like this casting, Skull Crusher. I believe we got this exact same paint job a year or two ago in the main line. Um, this, I believe, is a glow chassis or a glow body, so it should glow in the dark. It's got, like, the vertebrae with the ribs going down, the skull. This is so killer. I know this is a kind of a weird-looking car. It's definitely not on a lot of collectors radars but this is so cool i love stuff like this that's kind of out of the box especially ones that have like a good theme to them like the bone theme here going around like this came out in 2009 so these are all a little bit older that's cool i don't care if it's a plastic body or not like that just looks looks like something that would that they would have made in like the 60s um hot rod scene like a george barris car from some movie or tv show or something very cool. I like that one, especially with the green wheels and stuff. So now that we've seen all of them, unbox them. <clears throat> Tell me which five pack is your favorite, uh, which is your least favorite, and then which is your favorite release out of all of these. I think, man, I don't know. I really like this RV there. Yeah, I just think that's such a cool casting. Um, I really do like this Skull Crusher, but you know, probably have to give it up to the Rough Rabbit 3. It's just a really cool heritage model. It looks good. It's licensed. Um, it's got some good detail. It just is an overall around nice model. So uh, I really appreciate you watching the Sam 64 wheels. Like and subscribe as always. I will have more five packs, more videos coming. I just have so much to film. Um, so hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified um, when I upload new ones because I should be uploading quite a few here soon. So I've been trying to do at least a couple a week, but I'm trying to ramp back up because I have so many cars. I just need to get them open. So next up, uh, the next video I will be um doing which should be the day after tomorrow will be on the hot wheels the second wave of the uh, neon speeders which is cool there's a lot of good cars in there um so be on the lookout for that one so um until next time i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>